Hello friends, and welcome to Storytime at Home with the Fayetteville Woodpeckers. My name is Alpha Jones, and I'm the Director of Field Operations at Segra Stadium. I bet you're wondering why I'm wearing a bathrobe in the middle of the day. Well, I wanted to share a story with you about my friend the lobster and the many adventures he has, including buying a robe. The book I want to share is called When a Lobster Buys a Bathrobe, written by Ed Shankman and illustrated by Dave O'Neill. When a lobster buys a bathrobe. When a lobster sees a puppet show, he stays until the end. He watches by himself sometimes, or he may bring a friend. To make sure he hears every word, the lobster is very quiet. That's not the case with everyone, but others ought to try it. Can you see the people in the background talking? We should be quiet in the movies. When a lobster eats a raisin, he delights in every bite. And that is quite important because he bites one every night. Once he's chewed the whole thing up, it settles in his tummy. And sometimes he has seconds because the first one was so yummy. You see all the raisins? How many do you think are there? I bet it's a lot. When a lobster plays with monkeys, he does just what monkeys do. He swings around from tree to tree and eats bananas too. Can you see the lobster eating the banana? The monkeys never think he's unlike them in any way, or perhaps they really do, and they're just too polite to say. When a lobster rides a motorbike, he leans into the breeze. He rides in perfect balance, taking every curve with ease. He keeps his focus straight ahead and never looks behind. If something happens way back there, well, the lobster doesn't mind. You see how cool he looks riding the motorbike? When a lobster knits a scarf, he uses very special yarn. He gets it from a sheep he knows who lives out in the barn. When at last the scarf is done and stunning to behold, the lobster gives it to the sheep so she won't catch a cold. Do you see the sheep? Point to the sheep. Very good. When a lobster plants a marigold, he places it just so. It seems he knows exactly what will make that flower grow. He gives the seed a magic mix of water, love, and sun. And that's the kind of gardening that can never be outdone. Can you see the marigold? Shout out what color it is. Yellow. Very good. Very good. When a lobster packs a suitcase, every item has its place. Between the seams, he packs some creams to moisturize his face. He probably won't use them, but he packs them just in case. It really doesn't matter because they don't take up much space. When a lobster takes a photograph, he chooses what he shoots. He may not shoot a centipede unless he's wearing boots. Can you see my boot? Or maybe he wears saddle shoes or something in a slipper or something with a buckle or a button or a zipper. See the centipede and all the shoes he's wearing? He has on saddle shoes and slippers and yes, boots just like mine. When a lobster buys a bathrobe, he makes sure to take his time. If the fabric isn't thick and soft, well, he won't spend a dime. He knows exactly what he wants and only wants the best. And if he doesn't find it, he prefers to go undressed. When a lobster wears a parachute, he floats across the sky. Can you imagine a lobster in a parachute floating across the sky? 
He watches eagles ride the wind and sees the clouds go by. With nothing else to do up there and no one else around, he likes to dream of all the things he'll do back on the ground. When a lobster drinks a milkshake, he prefers to use a straw. He places it precisely, then he holds it with his claw. He drinks the potion sip by sip while tasting every taste. And by the time he's finished, not a droplet goes to waste. When a lobster paints a masterpiece, he always signs his name. But the painting's not complete until he puts it in a frame. Finally, he hangs it, making certain that it's straight. And that's the way a master makes a masterpiece look great. Don't I look great? When a lobster meets a unicorn, he always shows respect. There are simply no exceptions. And believe me, I have checked. That's just the way these lobsters are, according to my source. And then, of course, a unicorn's just no ordinary horse. When a lobster wears a tutu, there's a chance that he will dance. Do you think a lobster would wear a tutu? Of course he does. Because if he doesn't plan to dance, then he'll wear a pair of pants. He may throw on his favorite jeans, or maybe he'll wear shorts. But shorter pants means there's a chance he plans on playing sports. And what's our favorite sport? Baseball. That's right. Very good. When a lobster sees a rainbow, and you see all the colors in the rainbow, shout out a color you see. Very good. He can't seem to look away. The beauty stops him in his tracks, and that's where he'll stay. Unless that rainbow disappears, the lobster stays all day. And if he misses something else, well, that's perfectly okay. Nar in umar stilrar svenska. That's Swedish. When a lobster studies Swedish, he remembers every word, which is why he feels at home wherever Swedish words are heard. He's also known to hold his own in Latin and in Greek. While pigs speak Latin too, whatever Greek they speak, well, it's just weak. When a lobster sings the blues, he puts his soul in every note. The same cannot be said of a coyote, Aww! or a goat, but they simply do not share the lobster's flair for melody, though a goat may dance a little if he thinks no one will see. When a lobster meets a movie star, he doesn't stop and stare. He just keeps right on walking as if nobody is there because fame is simply not enough to catch a lobster's eye, but he will stop if he sees something funny passing by. When a lobster rides a seesaw, he goes up or he goes down. When he's sitting way up top, he has a perfect view of town. When he's sitting on the bottom, he looks up into the sky. And when he's in between, he watches people passing by. When a lobster and a titsi fly spend too much time inside, they may get on each other's nerves and both may want to hide. They may pretend they're busy paying bills or doing chores, but in the end, they're fine if they just spend some time outdoors. When a lobster writes a children's book, he measures every word. He has a knack for rhyming, <laughs> or at least that's what I've heard. You might think he'd write about a wizard or an elf, but typically, as you can see, he writes about himself. Look at all the stories he's written about himself. You see the lobster in the picture? You can point to it. Very good. 
When a lobster's with his closest friends, he plays the day away. For there's no greater joy in life than lobster friends at play. And if they're in the ocean, well, that's even better yet. Because everything a lobster loves is better when it's wet. So if you're in the ocean and you hear the sound of laughter, <laughs> you know you found our lobster friend living happily ever after. The end. Thank you for joining us on Storytime at Home with the Fayetteville Woodpeckers. We hope to see you again next Tuesday at 2 p.m.